Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Arun Reddy Tech for You. In this video, we are going to discuss about different types of data types. So friends, if you don't want to miss my video, please subscribe my channel Arun Reddy Tech for You. And don't forget to like my videos. Coming to the data type, there are different types of data types like primary data type, user defined data type, derived data type. So let's go first primary data type. So coming to the primary data type, primary data type is also called as primitive data type and built in data type. So there are five different types in the primary data type. They are character, integer, float, double, void. So let's start with the character. Character data type allows a variable to store only one character. So you cannot select sorry you cannot store more than one character for example if I want to give my name as Arun so I cannot take Arun as a character because character will support only one character you can see here syntax char space variable name equals to value in the single quotation so value should be given in the single quotation you can also see an example char a equals to p so you can see I have given only single letter so character will accept a single letter you can also see some of the examples like M A 5 at the rate question mark so on so everything is kept in the single quotations so character data type only accept a single quotations and uh, char is a keyword used to declare a character data type and, and coming to the character there are generally three types a character is divided one is unsigned char, second one is a char and third one is a signed char and uh, three of them has common format specifier percentile C so when you are printing or when you are scanning in the scanf or you are printing in the printf you can use as percentile C and uh, three of them will have a common size it's one byte and uh, coming to unsigned character its range is 0 to 255 and uh, for signed characters and char it is common like minus 127 to 128 nice right coming to the next data type it's an integer data type so integer data type only stores a numeric values it doesn't store decimal values it can store positive and negative values for example 5 minus 8 so it can store positive and negative values but not a decimal values and we use keyword int int is a keyword used for an integer data type and integer again divided into three types short int integer long int so generally integer contains two bytes and a short integer contains two and long integer contains four and three of them has a common format it is percentile d and uh, when you are declaring integer we use keyword int space variable so you can uh, see a small example int serial number and uh, suppose you have a small value then you can use short int in place of integer for that we can write keyword as short int or you can also use short as a keyword suppose your integer is very long in number so you can use a long int long int is a keyword or you can write directly long and coming to the float data type the float data type will accept decimal values and uh, we use float is a keyword as a keyword so float is a keyword we use for a float data type you can see syntax float space variable equals to value so float example float average equals to 6.78 nice right and a uh, double data type is same like a float data type the difference between a float data type and double data type is double data type can allow up to 10 digits so double data type will allow up to 10 digits and uh, it contains a keyword double you can see a syntax double space variable equals to value example double average 8.9900 something and uh, you have a three float value double value and long double for float and double we use common it's a percentile f but long double we use lf and the size 
for the float is 4, size for the double is 8 and size for the long double is 16 bytes. Next data type is void data type. So void is an empty data type. So it cannot store a value and it doesn't have any value. It will only use for returning from function. For example, you can see void main or you can see a sub function void add. So void is a keyword used to represent void data type and void cannot store any value or it is it doesn't use for a calculations. Coming to the next data type, user defined data type. User defined data type contains two data type. One is type def and enum. Generally, user defined data type allows user to define their own data type. Let us see the first type def. Type def is used to give alias name for existing data type. For example, uh, you can see a syntax type def space existing name space alias name so you can give a alias name to the existing name so we use keyword type def so let us see example type def space care space ch so now ch is a care the alias name given to the care is ch so i can uh, declare any variable by using ch i doesn't need to write care so ch is now alias name for the care this is how our type def is used to give an alternative name for the existing data type. We can also have a enum which is enumerator. Enumerator data type in short we, we use keyword as enum and it is also a user defined data type and uh, we can create our own data type by using enum. So for example enum space identifier in bracket you have to use value 1 value 2 so on. A best example I can give int week sorry enum week Sunday Monday Tuesday so on coming to the next data type is derived data type again derived data type contains arrays pointers structures union coming to the array array is a collection of similar data type so array will have only common data type for example you can see int int serial number so when I declare int serial number 5 the automatically the serial number contains serial number 0 to 0 uh, sorry serial number 0 to 4 because the array lower boundary start from 0 and uh, ends with n minus 1 that is size minus 1 so it contains serial number 0 serial number 1 serial number 2 serial number 3 and serial number 4 and all the data types in the serial number should be integer if you have a different data type it will not compiler will not accept so that's why array is a collection of similar data type and you can see the syntax and example data type space array name size and you can give example as int serial number 5 and coming to the pointer pointer what a pointer will do generally other data types will store the value but pointer will store the address so we use asterisk symbol to specify or re to represent a pointer variable you can see if I mention a data type space variable it will become a variable but if I say data type asterisk symbol variable then it will become a pointer variable that's the difference between a normal variable and pointer variable you can see a small example int asterisk symbol x so this x is a pointer variable coming to the next next uh, data type it's a structure and union so let us see what is structure and union a structure contains dissimilar data type of course a union also contains dissimilar data type so that's why union is are union are similar to structure so both are same structure and union both are same only different between a structure and union is but with a common memory so union contains a common memory next example will show you clear picture the different between a structure and union so structure contains struct as a keyword and union contains union as a keyword so remaining are same remaining the syntax and examples are same so let us see main difference between a structure and union and array so this picture will show you the difference between array structure and union so generally we will say array is a collection of similar data type you can see example a0 a1 a2 a3 so i have taken a0 3 a1 4 a2 5 and a3 6 suppose if i take a1 as 4.6 the compiler will not accept because 
have declared all the a as a int so once i declared int a all the data types should be same that's why we will call a array is a collection of similar data type and uh, if i give suppose if i give a2 as 5.5 also it will not accept because we have already declared it as a int so coming to the structure you can see a struct a so a contains different data type so we have a integer for a serial number character for a uh, serial name integer for marks and float for the percentage you can see here i have taken serial number 3 name as ajay and marks as a 450 and percentage as 90 if you want you can also take a decimal values and the same in the union but the difference between a structure and union is see a union will uh, store in a common memory structure will store in a separate memory now you can see the serial number has a separate memory serial name sorry student name has a separate memory marks has separate memory percentage has separate memory but coming to union it has a common memory all the serial number s name marks percentage were stored in the common memory that's the difference between a union and structure so that's why structure is also a collection of different data types and union is also a collection of different data type but structure has a different memory and union has a common memory thank you friends keep practicing